While many in our region are placing great expectations on the burgeoning industrial hemp industry to be an economic boon to the area, there are still stigmas associated with the marijuana relative that are creating challenges for farmers looking to grow the crop. As Rob Hackford of our sister station WSYR shows us, many banks are still reluctant to lend. You know, you can see the little flowers, they're starting to form on here. And these in about another uh, four to six weeks will be the size of my forearm. After two years of hard work, Main Street Farms in Cortlandville is nearly ready for its second crop. And then after that, we will harvest all the flowers and uh, that's what we will process into oil. That's CBD oil to be exact, a product growing in popularity, and Alan Gandelman has 40 acres worth. We sell to thousands and thousands of people. But getting this far financially hasn't been easy. Fighting the stigma of hemp, a relative of marijuana, Gandelman says many banks still see this plant only as its cousin, and that comes at a cost. It's hard to totally quantify because the industry is growing so fast, but we are talking about hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Loan options are limited. Even opening a bank account can be tough. Gandelman tried five before finding success. Now Senator Schumer is hoping to help. I will be pushing the federal regulators to quickly issue guidelines so that banks and financial institutions will issue loans and give services to all kinds of industrial hemp-related uh, activities. Main Street Farms will dry 40 acres of hemp when it's harvested in mid-September on netting just like this, but they can only process 20 acres. They're hoping with those changes to banking regulations, they'll be able to secure more money and get more processing to meet their needs. This would have ripple effects through the entire, you know, manufacturing industry, but also through, you know, the 500 farmers in New York right now who are growing hemp. And at least make this growing farm even more successful. More in Portlandville, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9.